Today's educational game that I play is the conductor or insulator quiz. This is another fun physics exercise about uh, physical properties. And again, I physical properties of objects. And again, <laughs> I will have to decide if the object is a conductor or insulator. The object that I see. Okay, the first one is the silver spoon. It is given, so it is a conductor. Okay, the gold. Well, metals usually are conductors. These are objects which provide the float of electrons through themselves. In, in general, it is not that simple because there are magnetic fields and other things. But I will try to keep it simple. All right, the gold is a conductor. The wooden plank, again, well, if it is wet, it uh, should have some conductive, conductive abilities. But in general, the wood should be a decent insulator. The rubber duck. So, what I imagine, I have two wires, which have some electricity passing through them. If uh, I put it on the rubber duck, the, the chain will not be closed. Right, so that should be insulated. Alright. Copper, candle. The copper is a good insulator, uh, it's a good conductor, so it should provide that highway for the electrons, the steel scissors, scissors, <laughs> right, well, uh, the steel is a good conductor, so that should be conductive. All right, the diamond. Well, now the the glass things, including diamond, are good insulators. So now the oil. Hmm, this is liquid. Is it oil conductor? I don't think it's conductor. It should be insulator. Correct. All right, the seawater. Now, this is not distillate water, it is seawater, and it should be quite conductive. The iron nail, the iron is a metal, so it should be conductor. The jarlet, all right, but all no, not all metals are conductive. Uh, I think the jar could be used. The jar lid, it's made of aluminium. Uh, aluminium. <laughs> I decided to learn this uh, pronouncement, aluminium. Okay, mm, I will risk. Ah, I failed. All right, cloth spins. Uh, well, they are made from plastics. The plastic, the plastics. Is it? Uh, is it plural? Plastics. If it is plural, they should be. They are insulators. Yep. All right. The Pepsi tin. Mm. Well, apparently, aluminum is a conductor. Yep. The nickel coil. The wool blanket. Uh, I don't think this will provide electricity. The basketball is made from rubber, so it is insulator, right? Yep. <laughs> ceramic bowl. Well, ceramics, I imagine them closer to glass, so it should be insulator. Drawing pencil is made from wood, except the inner side, the metal chain is a conductor. 
Huh, the paper clip. Well, it should be conducted. Frank Pan. Well, if I put one of the wires on the handle, the handler, it will not provide electricity. It will not close the chain, I mean. Hmm. In general, it should be kind of... Okay, the slippers, well, they are insulators. Especially if they are made from rubber. The fur gloves, insulator. The wrench is a conductor. Ha! Huh. Orange. Well, I know that lemon can be used as battery, so it should provide uh, some movement for the electrons like I imagined it imagine it so it should be conductor. Now the ebonit bowl. Ebonit. Ebonite. Insulator. The lemon is conductor. The glass is insulator. The apple well these fruits they have uh, liquid inside them. Something like liquid. So they are in general conductors. Okay, the plasticin is insulator. <laughs> Actually, this is the most popular insulator in village houses. <laughs> Alright, and uh, well, I made one. I made that better from the uh, sink or float. <laughs> Interesting. But, well, uh, this game is available online too, this quiz actually, and the link will be in the description, just like all other similar things that I play. Uh, well, and thanks for watching.